introduce you guys to Veterans Without Borders. I've been talking about these guys for a long time. They're out here in Tijuana and they have a little mission statement that they want me to spread around. Great, thank you very much and uh, welcome to uh, Unified U.S. Deported Veterans Resource Center. Uh, we're a resource center uh, dedicated to the uh, support of our U.S. Uh, deported military veterans. And uh, we're strategically located approximately uh, 30, 40 yards from the uh, Pet West border crossing, which is also the deportation center. And uh, actually our, uh, main sh our main mission here at uh, Unified U.S. Deported uh, Veterans Resource Center uh, is twofold. Number one is to one day be able to uh, return legally to the country that uh, we were not born in, but we were raised in. Uh, it's the only country that we have uh, known to love, that we have known to uh, defend, and it's our, our home. So our mission is to one day return legally, but just as important is that while we do return home, is that in our birthplace, the country that we also love, that we are productive members of our community. And that's why this resource center is so important, because we're strategically located so that we can intercept veterans that are being deported, so that we can be their first line of defense when they are deported, to assist them in being able to integrate into the community here as productive members. When a uh, deported veteran uh, should come uh, our way, uh, part of what we do is uh, do an intake for the veteran, do an intake for uh, the veteran to determine the needs, and also a tracking system for them. A tracking system, that way we can uh, keep in touch with them where he's coming from and be able to pair him up with whatever type of uh, services he may need. Uh, immediately what we like to do is have him contact the family back in the United States because that's part of the, uh, the main anxiety that a deported veteran will have when he arrives here uh, in Tijuana be able to contact the family, have a little bit of peace of mind for himself and for the family, and immediately uh, assess their needs, like I said. Uh, for example, should they require housing, uh, we're set up with a couple of different shelters, which are very good safe houses for them, that will house them until uh, the time uh, has come for them to move out and be able to be on their own. Uh, most of the shelters, uh, our short-term shelters, however, with the uh, communication that we have, the relationship with them, uh, as long as our veteran is able and willing to work, uh, they're able to continue there until they have acquired enough uh, funds so that they can rent their own house, their own apartment. And what we like to do is, uh, of course, uh, like I said, offer them a full line of support, um, request their uh, medical uh, uh, documents, their military documentation, uh, pairing up with the ACLU to analyze their uh, legal situation to be able to return home uh, legally. And uh, now, which is very important, we also have an accredited agent uh, on our behalf uh, to act before the um, Veterans Administration so that they can follow with all the necessary uh, benefits that they're entitled to, whether it's pension, pension compensation claim, um, even uh, pro bono immigration attorneys through the uh, Veterans Administration, uh, their GI Bill for education, any claim that they may need through the VA, our accredited agent is fully licensed, fully accredited before the VA to act on our behalf with the Veterans Administration. Uh, we also render them uh, assistance in uh, job training, obviously when you are deported after living most of your life, if not all of your life in the United States, you're very fluent in the English language and you're a natural for the call centers here in uh, Tijuana. So they, uh, they definitely have a position for you so that you can immediately be gainfully employed and be on your road to be a productive member of our community here in town. Is there any website or anywhere they can donate or check anything out? Absolutely. Uh, you can uh, check out our uh, Facebook page at Unified U.S. Deported Veterans. Very soon our website will be up and running. But for right now, you can go to Unified U.S. Deported Veterans. When you click on About the organization, you'll see a link there 
where you can click and it'll take you directly to a page where you can donate directly through our organization, through uh, our supporters of uh, Veterans for Peace in uh, the United States. Excellent.